So I don't know if you guys know this, but 2024 is the year that we are going to be living in our me era, aka you era. Like we're living in our era of just focusing on ourselves, doing what's best for us, whether that's with self-care, self-love, our careers, with our bodies, whatever that may be. We are focusing on ourselves. So if you know me from TikTok, basically I have this series called Becoming Her where I keep track of all of these habits to kind of build discipline within myself but also trying to get to like this end goal that each habit kind of focuses in on as well as I keep track of a whole level up checklist which is just a checklist of things that helps me upgrade my appearance, me, my career, my home, everything. And I have one for every month. But I changed it this year to being her instead of just trying to become this person. Like I already want to act as if I am the best version of myself which is what being her stands for so i'm going to take you through my day doing all the habits that i'm tracking possibly doing some things on my level checklist we'll see we'll see but yeah 2024 i feel these amazing vibes really really good vibes for all of us of just like taking care of ourselves and leveling up so so much like i see that for all of us so let me show you i'm excited let me do my skincare though real quick and i'm sorry about the fan without it it looks like that. I mean, I'm not mad at that. We'll just, we'll just do this. It's fine. No, I've been getting a lot of PR for like skincare products, so I should probably try some of these things. I don't know why I'm doing my full skincare right now. Like I'm about to go to the gym and like sweat it all off. Usually I just do like something quick, but I forgot I was going to the gym. And I do put on light makeup to go to the gym. Okay, no judgment, no judgment. I feel like that's like a lot more in now. I don't really feel like people judge me for that anymore. I feel like before people would be so like weird about girls like putting makeup on to go to the gym. But I just want to feel good when I go. You know, I just have a better workout then. Oh, way too much. This is how we should be going to the gym. Confident. And if putting on makeup makes you feel confident, then yeah, we're doing it. This is really the only social interaction I get most of the day anyways, so if I'm gonna be seen, I'm gonna be seen, you know? And not even social interaction, like I don't even talk to, well, usually I don't, unless someone comes to talk to me, you know? Let's go bestie. <laughs> So one of my habits on my habit tracker is to drink three liters of water a day. There's a lot of benefits to drinking a lot of water. It might be confusing, but this is the water bottle I'm gonna take to the gym. This one I like to just drink throughout the day. I just find it a lot easier to make sure I drink my water with this because it's just easy to, <laughs> you know. Making my bed is another habit that I have that I'm trying to track, which is just something that you are already like accomplishing for the day. So it kind of sets the tone for the day. It also makes your room look cleaner. When I feel like my room is clean, my space is clean, my head is a lot more clear. And I just feel like a lot more put together, which also kind of changes the way I like move and go about my day. So another one. And my skincare it makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself. And that's just something that I'm just trying to be better at. Caring about my parents and again, feeling like I'm put together and just like treating myself well and that really helps my mood and just again like the way that I move throughout my day but let's go to the gym <laughs> some groceries because I realized I didn't have almond milk for a smoothie which is very important and it's 10 30 so we're gonna make a little breakfast
actually gonna go on a solo date right now. I just like last minute decided. So I'm gonna go get some permanent jewelry. Cause I'm doing 100 days of solo dates. I think this will be my 35th or 36th. So I've got a ways to go. I love my solo dates. And I have like basically a free day today. So I really want to just kind of like do something nice. Yeah. So I went on my solo date and I'm currently editing a video for TikTok for it. One of the habits that I'm trying to make sure that I do every day is to post on TikTok. That's because it really helps with my growth. I'm able to work with brands because of it, which means I get to make money from it. I'm trying to build other income streams besides my small business. And I also just love creating content. I love editing videos about solo dates. Low key, I'm trying to create another small business around it. So I kind of want to share the process of doing that. Oh yeah, I got my bracelet. Isn't it cute? So yeah, I'm just editing that right now. And then I'm gonna finish up the rest of my habits very soon. <music> Finally just finished editing. So I'm gonna post this right now. So I chose this one instead. Did good guys, we did good. It's loading. Task. Next on the list is a 10 minute tidy. I love that I added this to my habit tracker this year. I didn't have it on my habit tracker last year because throughout the day, my house just gets like really dirty. And you know, before I wouldn't really take the time each day to clean, like I wouldn't clean it until it got bad. So the 10 minute tidy, it's not like I need to clean my entire house. It's like, okay, do what you can in 10 minutes. And usually I can clean a lot in 10 minutes, honestly. A lot of it is just like putting things back in place. And by the end of it, my place just looks so much more clean, which again helps me feel more clean helps me feel more put together it helps my mood helps my space helps everything i love it so much and it's literally just 10 minutes out of my day which i can always do so we're gonna do that right now I'm always out of breath when i talk oh i randomly made like pumpkin pancakes so i need to clean that i need to do dishes and i need to do a bunch of stuff i have my 10 minute timer So yeah, I quite literally just cleaned my entire downstairs in like 10 minutes. Even though it looks like super crazy, and honestly it doesn't take as long as we think to clean. I did go over a little bit to clean my counter, but besides that, I had done everything within the 10 minutes. What the hell? So we did the dishes. I even cleaned the little mess I had here. Counter, tidied up the living room. I highly recommend adding that into your day if you're like me and your day is just like chaos and your place just ends up like crazy after a few days. I even have someone come to clean like every two weeks and it still ends up super insane. So this has helped me so much. Just keep it in order. Yeah, we only have a couple more things. And honestly, it's Saturday night, but like I'm not trying to do anything crazy today. So I'm literally gonna like get ready for bed. It's 5.30. I'm gonna like get in my little PJs and just like read and journal and just hang out for the rest of the night. That's my type of night these days. Yeah. I'm back in this PJ set. It's so comfortable. And this is my last liter. I've been good about drinking my water. So I'm currently rereading this. I think I've read this at least like two other times. It is my favorite, favorite book. This was a perfect way to start off January or the new year because this is what got me into manifesting and just living a better life. And it's bringing back the good memories that like really got me into like a good mindset, so. So I just finished my third liter of water. I'm going to complete that, yay. I just got a new phone, so I had to connect it to my Apple Watch for the first time. So this is literally the first time I'm like completing it on here. Journaling time. I just like to write like a quick gratitude list. I write like 10 things that I'm grateful for. And then there's other prompts that I can answer if I want to at the end of the day. So this is my journal that I keep in Notion. I just kind of have a date for every day in January. Like if I go into each one, it'll have a prompt to write what I'm grateful for, 10 things. If I want to do like end of the day reflection prompt, I just click that and then I can answer these questions if I want to. Clearly I've already done one through the fifth. Today is the sixth, so I'm going to do that one. So I'm gonna write these. So I just finished, so I'm gonna change this to a little 
pen thing. This is my current Notion template. I know it's really maybe cringe and weird that I have myself on here, but that's kind of how I visualize things. And that's kind of how I have my vision board as well. Like I have myself on there because this just kind of represents like how I want to be. Like I want to be a businesswoman. I want to be successful. I want to dress up. Like I want to look nice. Just a reminder to like be that person since it is being her. Like this is who I'm trying to be <laughs> me. Like this version of myself, you know? Yeah, let's go to the habit tracker. It says, I want to see what happens if I don't give up. And it's a habit tracker for every month of 2024. So we're in January. So this is the habit tracker. So we are on day six. So today I did indeed make my bed, did my skincare, read 10 pages, worked out, 10 minute tidy, journaled, drank three liters of water, and posted to TikTok. Yay! We finished them all. These might seem like super simple tasks, but doing them every single day seriously builds those habits, which is maybe like obvious, but doing it over time consistently, like honestly makes such a big impact. Even just doing it one week, it's in six days. I seriously feel a huge difference in my productivity, my mood. I feel so much more clear-headed, focused. Like I know what I'm supposed to be doing every day. I feel like more driven. I think I feel my best when I'm taking care of myself. So if I'm taking care of my space, you know, I'm making sure I clean, I'm making my bed, taking care of myself, I'm doing my skincare and I'm working out and all that stuff. So I feel like when I'm really on top of these things in my life, it just does so many good things for me. So I love my habit tracker. I love my level up checklist. I didn't get to any of that today. I have been doing a couple of them. I haven't really been showing them, but so yeah, I'm really excited about this month. The reason I'm like extra like motivated is because I told myself I would buy myself the Gucci vegan bag, the like black one that I just like found out about. I've been wanting to buy myself a luxury bag, but everything is freaking like real leather. So when I found out that there was a vegan Gucci bag, like I just had to have it. So I want it so badly. I told myself if I completed 90% of this month, meaning I only miss like three days of like doing a habit which is like crazy i've never done 90 percent. i would get myself a bag so that's why i'm like really like on top of myself but also because i'm on top of myself it just means i'm like doing all of these things every single day which is just making me feel so so good and just elevating me and and everything which is the goal even though i'm like incentivizing it is that a word incentivizing i'm creating an incentive to buy myself something but hey it's working it's working and I get a bag at the end of it, so. <laughs> and I'm so happy. I think this video is actually gonna make it onto my YouTube channel. The amount of times I filmed and basically edited and it just like has never like actually gone on because I created this new channel. And for some reason, just that first video, I'm having such a hard time putting up because I feel like I have such high expectations for myself for this channel and being a perfectionist. Like I'm just like getting in my own way. You know, you just have to kind of like throw yourself into things and just like, just go at it. Not worry about the results too much, you know? And I just like sharing and trying to like help and others in any way so if this helped you let me know but also add all of the templates for the notion stuff that i use if you want to use it yourself i do have my habit tracker on my stand store as well as like other planners and everything so i find them really helpful i know a lot of other people like them so yeah hope you guys like it like i said i am working on a, a new business idea that i have that i really want to share with you guys soon not yet because it's still in the works but I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are gonna be excited about it. I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.